Thanks very much. I, I also, um, I think, uh, gifted with a loud voice. So uh, again, do wave if, if, if you can't hear me and I'll use the, the microphone. What I, I want to do in a very, very brief uh, period of time is to, ooh, ooh, is to uh, <laughs> one, work the machine in the right direction, uh, and, and two, to say that, oh, I mean, obviously in five minutes, it's very difficult to get over to you um, the sorts of, of, of issues that there are for consultants trying to get into this realm. And I've been here 15 years, and I'm still very frustrated sometimes that I, I can't get the system to work. So um, what we're really looking for from the consultant's perspective is making darn sure that we're all signed up to the same vision. And I think we are here, but I'm not so sure that it's out in the sticks where the pressure is on to, to make uh, the, the, the hospital uh, be productive, to, to, to bring in the money. Uh, the budget is king. This is not what we need in this new system, in this new care delivery. What we actually need to, to, to do is to focus on the fact that what we need is this prevention of crisis. We do need a health service, not an illness service. And in consequence, we do need to create that level of integration that Eva mentioned between the hospital, the social services, the primary care, the community services in order to deliver for patients that I care for as a care of the elderly consultant and also those with specific neurological problems. Um, Parkinson's disease is, is my area. So what we need is good pathway development. And in the project we developed in Surrey, that's exactly, exactly where we started about two years ago, we actually went out and we paid for project management to give us the time and a bit of space to be able to collect what is it that people want? What do the stakeholders want? What is the data out there that we've heard about from, from Adrian that, that we can actually utilize to know what we're doing now? What resources are we utilizing now? But what we also need in this area, definitely for consultants, is clinical champions, because they are incredibly cynical about all of this. This is more work, and it is more work up front, but ultimately, hopefully, not more work in the long term. Because what we'll be doing is we're producing an integrated system which will do all that you've heard about. It'll be a whole system. It'll be linking generic and specialists together so that we don't bounce pa pa patients between the two. We, we actually provide a service that actually keeps people well. And of course, we need all these elements, but what we need is skilled people who understand what it is that telehealth and telecare will offer. They assess the person, they provide the care plan, they deal with all their multiple pathology, and then they decide what elements of technology will help us on the delivery road. But to do that, those technology elements have got to be there. And so we, what we need is integration at primary care level and then pull in the specialists as necessary. And that's where the consultants see their role, being pulled in to help. Now, there are some good work. There is some work going, good work going on. And it wouldn't be sensible to miss what is going on at the national level. And we're involved in that in Surrey, working with a very good organisation called Neurological Commissioning Support Unit. They've been invaluable in helping us to, to draw in what, what knowledge is out there. Set the standards, and we want the standards high, please, not, not the lowest common denominator. What care do we need to deliver as consultants and all the other elements of the service that I've mentioned? And then how can technology help us to solve the care problems we've got? It's that order that we've got to adopt. So you drive with clinical champions who have actually got to be freed up to do the job. And I appeal to anybody who has uh, actual responsibility in acute units to free up their consultants to do this. It's got to be part of their day job. It's got to be supported by the managers at very senior level that this is the care we want to now deliver. We want to stop being a crisis service. We want to be a, a, an integrated service delivery which really does in effect become incredibly cost effective and if it is cost effective I and mean, we know what it costs and we we can actually uh, in a sense identify those costs then let's start plowing it back into continuing that iterative process because this is not going to happen overnight 
This is going to be a long-term commitment. This is not short-termism. This is not getting the budget right for the next year. It's getting the budget right for the next five, ten years. And that's the sort of commitment we've got to show. So let's get the perverse incentives out, please. We don't want a tariff that gives you money for outpatients. We want a tariff that gives you money for the whole prevention of crisis, that delivers on a service that is integrated, that is acknowledged in the job plan so that you are freed up to do it as a consultant, and that you work in a centre of excellence, as I hope will develop within, within uh, Surrey, specifically, uh, of course, I'm involved in neurolog neurological projects, but why don't we do it for every single area of the care delivery? Because if you work in a centre of excellence as a consultant, you then to start bouncing ideas across one another. You then get the, the consultants who are so cynical and are not, don't want to come out to play to actually think about how they're delivering care. And then you draw them in to the, the network which says, actually, this is the best way of delivery. Let's try it this way. Let's work out what we're doing. And the science of evaluation is in its embryonic status. But at least let's start looking at evaluating what we're doing, committing to that care pathway which has technology employed, making the business case, and believe you me, consultants need their hands held to do that because it's not our skill. But let's get the project, project management support to enable that to happen. And then, hopefully, we will change the culture because that's fundamentally what we need to do at the consultant level. We need to get consultants to say, yes, technology will help me. It'll help me with my training solutions. It'll help me to select patients who will be suitable for technology. It'll help me to set the parameters at the standard I'm delivering care. It will help me manage the data, because we don't want data dumped on us. What we actually want is the data sifted, collated, and then we see the trends, and then we can see how we can actually change the care delivery to a very positive way of managing the patients. And it will help us to manage our workload better. So there will be a win-win situation. Once we've decided that it's not just about technology, what it is, it's producing an integrated service that can better our patients' lives. It's the catalyst for change, and that's the fruition that I want to see. Thank you.